dependability. I've kept all of my promises. And I've kept mine. I've appointed that person to a post with the Queen, where she can spy on me for you. Nothing escapes you. At least I see through you. On your orders, Miss Abigail tried to get the Marquis de Tulsi invited to the Queen's soiree. My mistake. I should have gone straight to your grace. You must have an invitation here to give me for the Marquis. You think so? In exchange for a greater favor, of course. It's the only way you and I can do business. Every advantage goes to you. 700% profit as on my debt. What have you got? Another letter? So have I. A bundle of them. Charming letters from your wife. Love letters to Lord Evandale. Very um, graphic love letters. I got them from Lord Evandale himself. At a discount, no doubt. <laughs> Never mind, I have some helpful news for you. Helpful? But is it pleasant? I'm afraid not. That's why I give it to you. <laughs> you have a rival. What do you mean? Some great lady has plans for a young mushroom. I have the proof, I know the time, the place, and the signal for their rendezvous. You're lying. I'm telling you true, as true as yours, as his rendezvous with you after the Queen's soiree. Oh, hell! This other rendezvous was doubtless meant to prevent yours, to snatch him from under your nose. Goodbye, your great. The signal for this rendezvous. What is it? First, the invitation for the marquee. A formal invitation, according to the marquee, full honours as envoy of His Majesty King Louis the Fourteenth. You, of course, are free to continue the war against France, as you do against me. <laughs> this is to go to the Marquis de Tossi at the French Embassy, across from the pubs. The Marquis will have the invitation in five minutes. Well, my lord, who is this woman? <clears throat> oh, she'll be here tonight at the Queen's soiree. Lady Albemarle, I'm sure of it. Or Lady Albemarle's. I don't know her name, but we'll soon know who she is. If she can evade those around her. If she is free. If. The rendezvous with Masham can take place tonight. Here is the signal agreed upon. Well? <laughs> Hurry up, for God's sake! This great lady... <clears throat> this great lady will ask Masham for a glass of water. But that's it. Here, tonight. Yes, you'll see for yourself. Damn them, I'll show them no mercy. That's what I count on. I'll expose them before the entire court. Quiet. They're the queen and her ladies. I'll have the card table prepared for your majesty. Good. And the table for the queen. For the sake of form, I um, thought it best to invite the Marquis de Torcy. Very good. That will silence the opposition. And uh, please, Abigail. 
Yes, indeed. <clears throat> well, gentlemen, I hear negotiations for peace have been broken off. Really? Yeah. The Duchess is so close to peace, the French ambassador is not invited tonight. Can you imagine? The Marquis must leave the country tomorrow without once seeing the Queen. His Excellency, the Ambassador of France, the Marquis de Torcy. <sighs> <laughs> My Lord Ambassador, we are very pleased to see you. You are most welcome. For heaven's sake, not too cordial. I knew this invitation would please you. I go out of my way to do what I can. You are too good, ma'am. I just this moment received the invitation. I know, it's going well. They will be soon, I hope. Uh, does this mean a major change in policy? <laughs> that will depend on um, Parliament or the Cabinet. On a very frail alliance. Who will be your Majesty's partners? Oh, you choose. Lady Abercrombie? No, Lady Albemarle. I thank your Majesty. <laughs> and for the third player? The third. My Lord Ambassador, showing such preference. How does it matter? You see the reaction? Then you should have chosen someone for yourself. Well. You are too generous, Your Grace. The Marquis invited to be the Queen's partner. It's more than I asked. It's more than I intended. <laughs> the Marquis is not a man to miss an opportunity. See what a friendly chat he's having with Her Majesty. I wouldn't interrupt if I were you. Watch and listen, because now I think it's the moment. You're right, my lord. It is warm in here. A stifling. A Captain Mashin. May I have uh, a glass? Of water. Oh, hell! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you, Duchess? I, 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 I nothing. Your Majesty may possibly, um... May what? What do you mean by this outburst? <laughs> Your Majesty may have forgotten. Your Grace, Madame. Show some respect for the Queen. Oh. What? <laughs> what may I have forgotten? The, the, the protocol, the... Prerogatives of etiquette in the palace. It is only proper for one of your ladies in waiting to bring your majesty all this fuss over that. Well then, Duchess, bring it yourself. Me! <laughs> hey. I must say, Your Grace, that seeing you fetch it yourself here before court is rather enchanting. Well, Duchess, did you hear me? After all, your insistence on the privilege. Oh, you lovely cow! Your Majesty has never spoken to me like that before. Perhaps I have been too indulgent. After all the services I have rendered, which I am tired of hearing about, well, if they are unwelcome, I offer your majesty my resignation. I accept. My <laughs> lords and ladies, I will not keep you. Here You'll have to apologize. Never. And that rendezvous will never take place. One word, Ma. In resigning my position, I owe your majesty an account of the last duty with which I was charged. What are you up to? On the complaint of Lord Bullingbroke, your Majesty ordered me to discover the assailant of the late Richard Bullingbroke. Good Lord! You must answer for the culprit now. I turn him over to you. Arrest Captain Masham. <gasps> There's the guilty man. Oh. Masham, can it be true? Yes, ma'am. I am avenged. Did we win? 